High tech entrepreneur Elon Musk is known for his electric cars and space rockets. Today, he will announce a new plan to redefine long distance travel. Barry Peterson met an inventor who's already exploring the technology called Hyperlooping. It is ugly and ungainly, made of styrofoam and duct tape. And yet, this mock up of a speeding capsule may be a look into the future. It will take several billion bucks to build a system for sending these capsules down a vacuum tube with the air sucked out, just like outer space, to eliminate friction. The journey begins when the capsule moves through an airlock. So this is the capsule? Colorado inventor Daryl Oster calls his idea the evacuated tube transport technology and thinks it's an irresistible way to get the 400 miles from L.A. to San Francisco in barely enough time to eat a tuna salad sandwich, forget the dessert. Faster than jets. Faster than jets. Los Angeles, San Francisco, how long? Half hour. Half an hour? What do I feel sitting in this capsule? What you'll feel is like if you're in a Corvette and push the throttle down all the way. For how long? Um, 20 seconds to get up to 350, 400 miles an hour. If Oster sounds like a lonely inventor with not much more than a good idea, consider Elon Musk, who made his billions creating Tesla electric cars, online payment system PayPal, and SpaceX, one of the world's first private rockets for launching satellites. He's a big fan of moving people without cars, motivated by his own California commute. You just see a carpet of cars that aren't moving, um, and it's just like, wow, um, how much misery is that causing? And surely it's something we can do about it. Now Musk plans to father and maybe even help pay for something he calls the Hyperloop, using magnetic levitation like that used on this experimental bullet train in Japan, combined with a vacuum tube system long used by banks. The catch is, another set of California dreamers have already come up with a high-speed rail system. The trains will go 220 miles an hour to make the LA to San Francisco run in three hours. But it's a big dream with a very big price tag, about $60 billion. To meet the needs of the 50 million people that we're gonna have uh, in the next 20 or 30 years, we have to build more freeways, more airports, and do more things that are gonna cost a lot more than the high-speed rail system is gonna cost. Oster's system cost one-tenth of that, and it seems he's thought of everything. How do I get the kids to the bathroom? Push the button that you wanna exit at the next available exit, and at most, they'll be 15 minutes apart. Up next, extend the system across the country and then the world. New York to Beijing. Two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Wow. So hang on. If the capsule in a tube dreamers have their way, this will be some ticket to ride. For CBS This Morning, Barry Peterson in Denver. Man, sign, it's just, go ahead. Sign me up. Me too. <laughs> it's just one more example of how exciting the future is. So exciting. You know? Elon Musk at the, at the front of that magnetic levitation yeah. and uh, to be able to travel that quickly. There's no doubt we need some changes. Yeah. And the velocity of change is increasing too because the more we know and the more tools we have, the easier it is to reach the goals. I love it.